Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're doing a very interesting experiment. What is the least amount of RAM that Tiny11 22H2 is able to run on? We've done a lot of NT Dev custom OSs recently, but I promise this is one of the last ones. I'm just curious to see what, you know, how low can we really get Tiny11 to go? So this is a brand new VM. Oh, that's not very good. That's way too stretched. Brand new VM of Windows 11, Tiny, Tiny11 rather. And I'm excited to see what like the least amount of RAM it is. So right now we have two gigs in the, in the VM, and we're currently using 800 megs, roughly 790. Um, so okay. So what we're gonna do, and if you've never seen this before, is we just shut it down and we keep lowering the RAM amount <laughs> until it doesn't boot anymore. And obviously you noticed I did not have VMware tools installed. That's for the simple fact that VMware tools can take up some more RAM than we would in. I, so this is literally a clean install, no drivers, no nothing. I'm going to take it down to 768 just to start um, because I know that Windows 11 regular can handle 1 gig and I know it can handle 768 um, as we've seen in previous videos. So we're going to boot this up and we're going to see what, what happens. And it looks to have booted perfectly fine. It booted in a you know reasonable time frame. Opening Task Manager did take a little bit longer than I would have preferred. Uh, but we are using 744 out of 767. Now we're at 705, 708. Okay, you know, we're, we're still pushing the limits what we have, but it's it's working, right? And I just restarted the VM, not shutting it down. Okay, let's power off the VM this time. Let's go, we'll go 624. I'm surprised I actually let me do that. Apparently, I'm, I'm just good at guessing intervals of four. I honestly don't know what the least amount of RAM will be. I'm actually kind of curious because I, I don't even remember what Tiny10 did. We did this test back with Tiny10, um, but okay, let's take a look here. 601 so we're getting better i mean we're still not great but we we're, we're getting better so now we're gonna go five we're gonna 580 you know i don't want to increment it too much because here's what happens if you increment it too much like if you drop it from a gig down to 220 it'll probably not work at all because i actually can't explain why but when you increment it down from like 512 480 7 or not 7 320 250 then 220 roughly like, then it works. I, it says something to do with the way the RAM disk is initialized. I don't really know. I'm not that deep into the Windows, you know, reasoning. But, okay. So we are really pushing the limits here. Actually, we're not that bad. We have roughly, you know, 40, gi 40 gigs. 40 megs available. Not 40 gigs. That would be insane. All right. Shutting down this VM. Let's go. Let's crank it down to 512. Let's see what that is able to do for us here. All right, 512 megs of RAM, which is half a gig. Um, I believe normal Windows 11 got to this point, but it started to kind of glitch out a little bit. Uh, 484 out of 511, not bad, I guess. Probably not usable by any means. I mean, well, actually, you know what? It may not, it may not be that bad. All right, let's shut her down again, and we'll go, we'll go we'll try 450 this time no i lied we'll go 424 i feel like that sounds like a good number i also hope it's a correct interval of four it is look at that i'm just i'm on fire guessing this stuff today now keep in mind this is a clean install so there probably is a page file in fact you can probably see that in task manager so we're not completely just relying on this but that's that's the point you know in a typical deployment on a lower end machine you're probably gonna have a page file so just something to keep in mind here. Um, I'm not going for you know complete accuracy. I'm more or less going for oh well, what if we had a computer with 220 megabytes of RAM? Is it going to work or not? Now the chances of you having a computer with exactly 224 megs of RAM with a processor that would be able to run this very minimal. All right, let's keep cranking her down. Let's try 360. So we are in at I, I don't even remember 324, 320, something like that. I looked away for like three seconds and I actually forgot. No, we're at 360. Okay, wow. I don't know what looking away at my wall did, but that that certainly messed me up. All right, now let's thr try. Let's try 324. Guys, it's like it's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm I'm like ready to go to bed at this point. I I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right, three. That was a two. Three. We'll go 320. Why not? What's the worst? that could possibly happen. 
All right, and here we go. We're in at 3:20. Um, opening task manager. We I am noticing things are starting to get way slower, which you know that, that I feel like that would be an obvious assumption. Um, we are using 100% CPU, or what well, we were. All right, I think it's time we drop below the 300 line, and we try. Um, we'll go to 40. Although I will say that now that power button's not even working, we're gonna have to manually power off. 340, 240. I feel like that may be too big of a drop. Um, but if we can boot, then we can boot. I would. All right, looks like we're good. All right, and we booted. Although it's there, we go. Our taskbar is up. I'm not even gonna bother to open Task Manager right now. I, at this point, I just want to see what it's gonna boot on. All right, 220. Let's see what happens. It looks like it's working. Wow. I believe we've already surpassed Windows 11. Um, let me go ahead and check you know, how the operating systems fared in the past. Okay, so Windows 8 was able, just a regular Windows 8, was able to go on 164 megabytes of RAM. Windows 11 22H2 was able on 560. That's worse than I thought. Um, Tiny 10, the original, was able to go on 180. Um, Windows 11 original was able to go on 312. So, oh, and the original Windows 10, not original, like Windows 10 two years ago with, you know, that was a 32-bit OS. It was able to go on 176. Let's drop to two, 204, not 2044, 204. Thank you, keyboard, for duplicating that number. Let's, let's, let's just try what happens. Let's see what happens. 204, too low. So, that means our minimum should lie between 220 and 204. So let's just go 212. It's a good enough medium. 212 is a no-go. Okay, cool. So let's try 216. All right, it did not like 216. Oh, wait, it just blew screened, but it booted. Um, okay, that's weird. But I'm not going to complain, you know? It, it is what it is. So it's working, kind of. All right, 216 worked. Um, I'm just going to drop it to 208 and hope we'll, we'll see what that does. So it blue screened, but is it going to still boot? I think it might. Okay, so it's not even working. So I'm going to say that our true minimum is 216, I believe. I mean, we can try 212 again, but it's probably not going to work. So with that being said, there you go. That is our little mini non-scientific test to determine what is the true amount of RAM that Windows 11 will, Windows 11, Tiny 11, not Windows 11, will boot on. And it appears to be 212 megabytes. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.